Hello, how are you doing? George Market Vapes uh, and here to do a little review tonight on the, the Va Vapux Geezer S which looks something a bit like this. How he's all doing? Yep. Yeah, intro's quite quite good. I like it. <laughs> what he's all vaping on tonight? <coughs> So, like I said, we're reviewing this tonight. Two seconds. PM forty slows. Hi, you, Natalie. Kids driving nuts. And that's a, obviously. I'll switch the camera around once I get a few more people in. Obviously, juiced this up before and used it. Well, if it keeps leaking, take the coil out, clean it, clean it all up, slide it back in. It might just mean your coil's knackered. It's leaking. Or you'll not put the rubber grommet on properly. But I'll switch this camera around anyway, guys, to let you see. Obviously, that's the box there. Standard box you get. Standard right in there. And that comes. This one's. A review one, so it's a 3.2 mil tank, 50 milliamp battery, so it's got the bigger tank in it. <clears throat> but the, I'll switch the camera around to the show me this. Two seconds, right? So, obviously, box comes in the slide, but and slide it <coughs> and you'll be greeted with this flappy piece here there's nothing exciting in there also your user user <coughs> sorry user manual as well which is like so chinese english and all sorts you have your USB Type C charger. Yeah, nice. The cable's not. I'm gonna say it was the best of looking quality, but that's not too bad. And you'll be have the the two coils, and both are exactly the same coils. It says in the box, it says the two of them is the, 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 there's a 0 0.25, 35 to 45 watt air mesh. And it says it's smooth and gentle, mild flavour for VGPG. 30 or 50. So that's pretty much it. The box, the box, there's nothing else there. Yeah, so it's just back to the front one. Just need to show you the device. And what we have here is VPOX Geezer S. It's quite small compared to, try to think here, this is a Atari AIO, and it is obviously 
tiny compared to that. This does have the built in 16, no, sorry, 15 milliamp battery. And the Type C charger is at the front here. It's a nice B. It's just plastic at the bottom as well. And a nice kind of, it's a kind of a rubber. It's not quite, there's no rubber, but it's like a rubber texture. So it's, it fits nice in the hand as well. It's like tiny compared to my hand. <laughs> you can barely see. Up to my camera again, probably just getting back on again. Not sure. Display there. If it wants to focus in there. It's red, nice red blue. Display it is quite really quite bright. Once we all switch the light off here, and you'll see it. It's, it is very much so quite bright. Nice display. Tells you your coil, 0.25 coil. Tells you the ampage, it tells you the voltage, and it tells you your puff counter. To turn the watch up and down, it's just your two side two buttons here. Your fire trigger button here, and you've also got the adjustable airflow, which that is set to wide open. And you just pretty much turn it, and you can switch it off or like half on, half off. But it's and also as well, it changes cartridge, it's just a simple. with one hand but slide it off like that the coil coil just pushes in the bottom fill hole is here just let me pull tab pull the tab out fill it up and you nice kind of it's got a smoked but you can see where the level is quite easily as well there's a nice big gaping mouthpiece as well Nice gaping. But it does feel quite a robust device, like it would take a beating. It's just a bit fiddly to try and get this to slide in it in there as well. That's it. It tells you when you coil in it as well, when you obviously take the cartridge in and out. And the coils are the coils look actually quite smart. Oh, not this one as well. As one of these is a three D mesh one, no three D I mesh and one's an air mesh coil. So yeah, pretty much coil there. Just looks exactly the same as a small RPM two coil. Exactly the same. There's no much a difference between the two. It's even got the same notches at the sides. It's even got the same notches at the side. It's strange to what it's like. Uh, just going to give us a wee try and out. Yes, yeah, built an internal battery. I did say that at the start. It's not an 18650 or anything, it's just your pop standard internal battery. 1600, eh, sorry, 1500 milliamp battery. Like I say, this is a 3.2 mil tank, but I'm sure, obviously, when they come to this country, there'll be 2 mil tanks as standard. But she's pretty much, I would use this every day to be honest with you. It's my type of thing, I like my pods. That's at 30 watts. It's a nice, heavy draw. I've been using it for the last couple of days to see what it was like. 
Yeah, but nice paper production as well. Try set it with a yeah, full turn. Yeah, I don't like it when you've got the air full turn off, to be fair. <laughs> Obviously, that must be for the other coil. One of these will be direct to lung, another one will be MTL. X coil, I'm sure the X coil is the. Tell me on this. Quite confusing in the coils. On. X co coil model 10, 0 0.25, 35 to 45 watt, single layer mesh. Doesn't tell you what the other one is though. Says what? coil ten, ten times two. So it's exactly the same coils. Yeah, definitely. I love this. It's good. There is a really good draw at this. Obviously, I would use this more for salts, and I would do. Obviously the bigger juices, but it handles it. I've got the uh, Twister Lolly in this juice, and it's it's pulling no problem at all. That's only thirty watts. Thirty watts, and it's crazy the pull out of this. I think just with that big gaping. Front air hole there. <clears throat> well, it's not IP7 rated or anything, it's just pretty much the way it comes. Obviously, you drop it, it breaks, it breaks, but it's not like the other pods and stuff that's coming in and out, it's IP7. But also the these coils are comp compatible with the Geezer Dual EFC forty five watt pod as well. You get the Geezer S mod as well. It's got a few. Uh, I'm not seeing much of these about. I've never actually seen anybody review them. The background settings are. Obviously, you're five clicks to turn it off, five clicks to turn back on. Backroom settings are obviously push your fire button and uh, these two buttons together to clear the puff counter. Background settings, I don't think it has any because in our device you would press press and hold the fire button up and down, nothing happening. Push it the other way, fire button up and down, nothing happened. Click it twice, click it three times, nothing. I think it's just your box standard way it comes. It's a shame because it does really look, the display is a really, really nice colour display compared to some pods like, e.g. this one, it's just box standard. This one's kind of like got a kind of 3D, you can't even see it with the camera, but it's got a nice 3D effect to it. And the skin as well wraps around the, the edge of the pod as well. But I'm just trying to see for these background settings. I've tried, but I've never. I even try. I'll try to switch it off. See if it does anything. If you hold any buttons or. No. I'm 
Nothing at all, to be afraid. It pretty much tells you everything you need to know at the front of it anyway. Your coil, your rampage, your voltage, your puffs, watch up and down. The watch goes up to 45 watts, sorry, 50 watts. It says in the box 45 watts, does it? Well, for the coil, yeah, for the coil it's 45 watts, but it goes up to 50, 50 watts, and it's round robin as well. Which is quite easy. It goes up and down virtually really, really quick. Before you know it, you're up at that 50 mark. It doesn't have any protection to tell you stop the stop the water shut them down for to protect the coil. So not got anything like that. But vape boxes are kind of your like pods to the system, so uh, to the system to the market. So obviously people's gonna hate expect they'll have a, a few things to add on to their next collections. But I know you get a bigger version of Geezer as well. It's a lot bigger. It comes with the buildable coils and stuff, but that thing's massive. It's Virtually fits in your hand, <laughs> more than your hand. Yeah, you're right, Raul. The more settings you can intimidate some new vapors. I just, I've tried everything to try and get anything. There's nothing. Like, I thought they would have a setting to obviously turn it low low, medium or high, like the the power setting <clears throat> that most pods do have. Like soft, hard, medium, but there's nothing like that at all in there. But at the end of the day, if it, you can't, there's no background settings to muck up, so you can't exactly accidentally push a button or and muck all the settings up. Everything's going to pretty much be right there where you need it. For the battery life, it has got quite a reasonable sized battery for the for what it is. But vaping quite high will kill the battery really quick. I just thought it would have like a background setting to change the colours and the screen as well, but obviously they're not because the like the merch they sent me as well has got the the red and blue on the polo shirt so i think they're going for the red and blue effect on the screen to match their, their merchandise well get flavor all day long flavor is phenomenal I love the size of the air hole as well. I like a big chunky 510. Yeah, sorry, 510. I mean a drip tip, sorry. I just like to... But flavour. Flavour for days. And it's not eating the liquid either, because I've had... It's not like it's like big uh, clouds, but it's not eating the juice. By no means, it's barely even touched the juice. Maybe I'll look for to see how much they are. I'm not one hundred percent sure how much they are at the moment. Not not many of them going about just now. My God, it just brings the the ice out in that twister so much, catches the back of your throat, which really, really happens with many pods. That's the reason I smoke salts because I like that hit in the back of my throat. Well, it's a nice airy draw, really, really airy, which I, I like an airy draw. You can hear that. 
soak in. Like I said, when you turn the, the airflow chat a bit, you didn't actually get any clouds out of it or any. What do you do? Oh no. That's about half. Yeah, half shut. It's a nice tight, obviously, fully shut. Really tight, but you're not getting anything out of it. Nothing at all. That's it with the half. Just open a wee tiny bit. Which is good because a lot of people don't like air as well, so this is nice that you can actually adjust this to, accordingly to where, where you'd like to for the hit. The way the pulls as well. The chain vaping as well, doesn't dry the coil out. Yeah, the bigger brother can go up to 100 watts. This one goes to 50 watts. <coughs> Which is to me is fine. Is like that's at thirty watts and that's choking me. That's that's giving me a really really good hit. Also thirty watts as well. It's not going to kill the battery. It's and it's just over the halfway mark of the wattage. For example, even if I turn it down to twenty watts, try the twenty watts. The twenty watts there. It does feel the struggle. You need to pull a bit harder to get the. Like me, I'm a lazy vapor. I like to it to just can they do it for me? Your twenty five watts is twenty five watts is good as well. For me, you get the flavor production and the. Uh, the clouds, I would need to hit, for example, on the artery, AIO, I've got to hit that at 40 to 50 watts to get any vapour production out of this. I mean, obviously that's a buildable coil that's in this one. Yes, obviously. Charging up as well. Oh, I'll chuck this. I'll put my other charger. The char charge cable is quite short, to be frank. It's it's quite short. Let's see what it's like when you charge it up as well. Charge it up. It's just the the B bars in the middle indicate where the battery level is. Also. Oh sorry, change the screen now, same battery charging. It's got a battery indicator, just floats up and down, tells you when it's... But I would like to have seen, to be able to change the colours of the screen, because obviously some people like the blue, but being black, you would like it to be maybe red or... Look, chain vaping as well. Same vaping as well, new dry hits, flavours there. It's flavours really good because I'm actually licking my lips because I can taste the twister so much in this. Which is very rare in some devices to get the vapour production and the flavour at the same time. Unless you go for like obviously buildable coils. But still as well, just as still, you can see yourself, it's 3.5 mil tank and it's barely even touched the juice and I've been talking away at this quite a bit. Oh. That's uh, everything I mean. Hook here, just hook that up. 
And it's got a nice big fill hole, like really big. You can get just, you can pretty much get to just fill a, like ju just bottle tips into there. No problem at all. It's huge, which I like to see as well because the only downfall I have my cons is when you have these top fills with the rubber bung is when you sometimes maybe overfill it a wee tiny bit or you have it pretty much nearly to the top and you push this down you always get like a vape like a residue of the liquid which i don't really like to be fair because i don't like it on my hands and this is also removable as well which is good because you can change it like for example if you don't like the big cone effect drip tip you can change it up for for example like this one that looks really nice with that drip tip on it compared to this one The flavour profile, Ash, I would say, I'll give us a 10 in flavour profile all day long, like, just brings every bit of flavour in the juice. I'm actually really surprised because I looked at this and I went, hmm, it doesn't even look very, like, bang in your face, like, oh, I want one. But when you actually start using ones, using this, it is... Brilliant, it's top pocket friendly as well. To me, I mean, got, I've got an Oxford here as well. This is the old Oxford. You know I mean, look at the size difference compared to the Oxford. It's just slightly smaller than the Oxford. Width wise, it's thicker than the Oxford. I mean, so. Pretty much the same kind of layout as Oxford with the fire button, same place in the up and down arrows. But yeah, I'm really, really surprised with this. And I just can't believe like how much these coils look like the smoke rpm two coils identical so if these are exactly the same as the smoke rpm two coils then that's why the flavor and the production which also the smoke rpm two coils last forever you fairly really do they burn out To me, using this, I'd get about half a day and I would need to charge it because I'm a heavy vapour, really heavy vapour. So that's only down the con as well as you can change your battery. That's Obviously it's built in, can change it, which is a bit of a pain if you're stuck somewhere without a charge. But yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys definitely i would like to try the big brother this one with the buildable coils i'm sure it will pretty much dominate compared to this one i'm sure they bring the big brother one out first then they brought this one out obviously the big one people didn't like pretty much like i think because of the size Obviously, they've tried to hit out with the pod market with a, a smaller device. And there's pretty much, oh, hey, look as well in the tank, see if there's any. That's pretty much what it looks like. The mine. There's no residue leaking so far. And Juicy's been in this a few days and there's nothing. 
and just slides pretty much in, and it's nice and snug. So you just basically click it and it comes out. So the only downfall with this not having the magnets is if you accidentally drop this, this is going to this is going to pop off and drop somewhere. I don't know how much these spare pods would be because pretty much everything's on that. The airflow's on it. Drip tips on it. No, I mean it's not as if you're you're pretty much just left with this. It tells you as well new coil every time you take the, this out. Just click it to the plus button or the minus button to what one you would like. Obviously new coil. But that's it guys. Thanks very much for joining us for me quick review of this one. Obviously it's my second review so anything I'm not covered you can comment below and we'll answer any questions that you would like to know. But I'm sure you'll be seeing this company quite a fair bit now because once people try these they'll love them. Thanks very much, guys. See you later.